It's time for my fall favorites and must-haves, my recommendations, things that I've been using, and I'm going through a lot of transitions in my life in general, so without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This has been a very transitional couple, well, like the past six months have been very transitional for me. I got married, I bought a, bought a home, I'm redoing the office, and so I've got some skincare products that I'm gonna be talking about. I have a hair removal device that I'm super excited about, and they're also the sponsor of this video, so we'll get into that in a second. And then also, I have some lifestyle favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get into the partner of this video, who is You Like. Now, You Like is a high-end luxury at-home IPL device and I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I've actually used at-home hair removal devices in the past. I've gotten in-office treatments for hair removal so I feel like this is a topic that I'm fairly well versed on. I actually believe that the fall and winter time is the perfect time to be practicing at-home hair removal because you'll be ready by the time the warmer months roll around. So the Ulike device, the one that I have is a sapphire cooling hair removal device that like I said you can use at home as you can tell from the packaging this is like a very high-end hair removal device I mean look that makes me smile because I can use this at home I use it more frequently like the convenience of this is a big factor for me so if you're not familiar with IPL IPL actually stands for intense pulse light and that actually targets the pigment in the hair follicle so someone with light skin and dark hair is a good candidate for this honestly as long as there's a difference in the color of your hair from your skin tone something like this can pick up on it and they have some references on their website if you want to look into that i have everything linked down below as far as the device and discount code and information on this so if you guys want to see it like written out i have that in the description box as i always do with anything i talk about i do have lighter skin and dark hair so using something like this like i said is great for me because not only is this super convenient but even though this is like a high-end device i actually find this is more budget friendly for me versus doing an in-office treatment because those definitely add up. And I can also target the areas that I want to. I can do my legs, I can do my bikini area, I can do my armpits, I can do anywhere and I don't have to like pay extra per spot. <laughs> now, this is the first at-home device I've used that the pain is very minimal. In fact, I don't even really feel it. Now that is due to the Sapphire cooling technology in the Ulike system, which is unique to this system. So it makes it virtually painless. Also, there's a filter in this, which filters out the bad light, which can actually hurt the skin. So it's a very safe device to use as well. Using something like this, I find most effective. And on top of that, I have a discount code that you like sent me to share with you guys. So that'll be in the description box below for $70 off this device, which actually I feel like makes it fairly affordable. And if you aren't happy with your purchase, you actually have a 30 day window to return it. So it's kind of a win-win situation if you're looking into something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some of the skincare that I have been enjoying for the past I would say a couple of months. Now, I've mentioned this a couple times, but I did get married, and so my skin is just in general very sensitive, but because I had a big event coming up, I wanted to make sure I was baby, basically babying my skin. I didn't want to have to worry about having any reactions or irritation or bumpiness, and so I wanted to share with you guys the products, basically like the skincare routine I've been using, which has been very simple, starting off with the First Aid Beauty Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. As the name implies, this is like a two-in-one product and I've actually been using this instead of double cleansing even though technically I'm double cleansing with this because I'm using this on dry skin rinsing it off and then cleansing with this again this is just very simple for my skin and I also like that it does give a little sud so it helps remove the makeup or grime that I've accumulated on my skin for the day I also like that this is fragrance free and it feels very gentle on the skin it doesn't strip and so I really like it um, First Aid Beauty is a brand that I trust for my sensitive skin, my eczema prone skin. So this has been the cleanser that I've been using for the past couple of months. In fact, I'm like here on it. So this is about to be an empty. That's how much I've been using it. After cleansing, after I hop out of the shower, I like to immediately get something onto my tan skin. And so for that, I like to use an essence or a mist. So I've been using the Pyeong and Yul Edo Intensive Soothing Mist. Again, for the same reason, I like this because it's very calming on the skin. It adds hydration immediately back into the skin. And this has a lot of 
nourishing and soothing ingredients in this and because I've been stressed in general, my skin has been, you know, a little bit more delicate. So I like this because it's lightweight. I can spritz it on, I can layer it on if need be. And it just, like I said, really helps cool and calm down the skin. Again, this is about to be another empty because I'm about here. So <laughs> I'm either gonna have to pick another one of these up or try another mist or essence. I actually recently just had a full blown, like, I don't know if it was a dermatitis breakout. I was all bumpy and rashy all over my face and neck last week. And so this was one of the main things I was using on my skin to cool it down and keep it calm. And in fact, my skin is probably about like 90% recovered since then. So using these products I feel like have really helped calm my skin down. I think honestly it was like a stress reaction. I get it like once a year and I change nothing in my skincare routine and I think it's like a stress reaction, like I said. I call it dermatitis because that's what it looks like, but I don't know. Skin skin and stress is weird, so I've really been loving that. Etude House sometimes really knocks it out of the park with me for skincare, and the Soon Jung line is just, I feel like every Asian beauty fan's sensitive skin line. It's affordable, it's, it's simple, it does a really good job, and this was something new from their line, or new to me, I should say, that I've been using. Um, and it is the 5 Panthenicide Sika Balm. I like this because of the texture of this. As the name implies, it has a bit of a balmy texture. And my skin was just drinking this up. So my skin was definitely a bit, <laughs> like it needed it clearly. And like I said last week when I had that whole reaction, this was something that I really felt helped calm it down. Essentially when that happens, I just try to keep my skin moist and using something like this, which is a balm, not only moisturizes, but this also because of the texture feels like an occlusive without having that like, you know, sometimes when you like slug or put Vaseline or even Aquaphor on, it never really absorbs. It just feels like slick on the skin. This, I don't have that issue with. So it was kind of the best of both worlds. And I actually use this as like a priming base for my makeup going into my wedding because I needed something to help nourish my skin but also kind of smooth it out and create a good canvas. So this has been a very great multi-purpose product for me. Again, it's affordable and I just love it. I just love this. And I'm about probably like halfway through my tube. Definitely something I'm gonna pick up a backup of. Like I said, a two house sometimes knocks it out of the park for me and this is the Soon Junk by Director's Moisture Sun Cream. Um, like the name implies, it's a moisture moisture type of sun protective cream and so it just my dry skin loves it. It has an SPF 50 PA quadruple plus. I like this so much in fact I get a lot of my skincare from YesStyle as we know. I already shipped myself a backup from YesStyle because sometimes it takes a bit as far as shipping goes. So I wanted to make sure I had a backup on hand because this one's about empty. So this I really liked. I even feel like this works well on my skin when it's warmer because my skin just really likes the texture of this. It keeps my skin feeling moisturized without feeling heavy or slick like some other sunscreens do, so I just feel like this is, again, the best of both worlds for me. And it's a two-dollars, again, affordable, and I really like this. So those are some of the skincare products that I've really been enjoying. Honestly, those have been like some of the tenements that I've been using in my skincare routine just to kind of keep it balanced and comfortable and happy. And now that I'm out of my wedding, I am gonna be able to like go back to trying a lot more skincare products and beauty products in general. But moving into some of the makeup products that I have loved, again, kind of inspired by my wedding, I found two standouts that I really, really like. The first one being from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. This is like a creamy type textured bronzer. By the way, this thing's huge. Like to compare it to my head, it's like half my head size. And this is just lovely. It goes on so smooth onto the skin. It's not patchy. And so this is just so good. I just like the color of it on my skin. It looks really natural without looking muddy. I have a big thing of it. I'm, honestly, I will probably never even hit pan on this. So this one, it's so good. Charlotte Tilbury, I used a lot of her makeup, honestly, for my wedding. Another product that I used for my wedding and just in general, <laughs> by the way, these are just in general products, but I'm saying my wedding because 
you know, you know you must like something if you use it for such a big day. Are the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer? These are newer concealers from Too Faced and I use the shade Butter Croissant and Pecan. I actually kind of mixed these two, Pecan being like the lighter shade for me. I would kind of put towards the inner corner of my eye and use the Butter Croissant over here. And why I like these is because I really felt like it covered the imperfections that I wanted to cover because I did use these as like spot cover as well. But I felt like these didn't make my skin look dry. And when you're like powdering your skin to make it last a long time, I feel like it's kind of inevitable that your skin looks dry, especially when you already start off with dry skin. And underneath my eyes, I felt like that did not happen. It did not emphasize the creases in my eyes. It did not emphasize the fine lines. I felt like it had good coverage without looking too cakey or too much. I didn't want to have like an overly like highlighted under eye in my pictures. And so these just performed really nicely. I've worn these day to day and really like them. And so I would definitely recommend these if you're looking for a good concealer for like day use that's not going to look overly highlighty, but also something that you could level up if you need to. Now my next favorite might be nostalgic for my millennial crowd out there. And I know you guys might be able to smell this through the camera. It's Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Guys, I did not know they still made this and I don't even know what possessed me to think like, oh, I wonder if I could still get a bottle of that or like I, if I saw something that I was like, I just would really love to smell that again. I ordered this on Amazon. Oh, this smells like high school. Like this is me in high school. I wish they still made like Ralph Lauren Rocks or Ralph Lauren Cool or Ralph Lauren Hot. Like I wore every single ver version of Ralph Lauren that they had. This was my main one, obviously. It really still smells so good and it's a light fragrance so I don't feel like it's too heavy like some of the perfumes that I have love and use I like do one spritz and done because it's just like almost overwhelming for me this is like perfect for me right now where I'm at and <laughs> if you were wondering if they still made this if you could pick up a bottle they do I'll put the link down below so good let's go ahead and move into some of the lifestyle favorites that I've had and I have not gonna lie, I've taken a little bit of like a hiatus from like social media. I've been a little bit slower on my Instagram. I've been slower on my second channel. Like I haven't even really posted on there for a bit. Even on my main channel, I haven't posted in a bit because I did take a break for my wedding and I took a little time off afterwards just to like bask in the after wedding glory. And so I haven't been doing a ton of reading. I have been getting back into reading and one of the books that I've started reading, of course, it's a Stephen King book and this comes as no surprise to you if you follow me on my booktube or you're familiar with my booktube at all. I'm a big Stephen King fan and he came out with the new book, Fairy Tale. I immediately picked it up when it came out and I'm about halfway through this book and so far I'm loving this. Like I really like how versatile Stephen King is as a writer. Not only do I love his like horror dense books and his thriller dense books, but I also really like his writing in fantasy I'm finding and 112263 is actually one of my favorite books of all time and I'm picking up a little bit of like those vibes within this book so it just makes me really happy it transports you to a different place it's definitely different from something that I've read like the characters are very vibrant as all Stephen King characters are like I feel like he does a really good job of writing very character driven books and so I'm so excited to get back into reading. I feel like this is a great place to start. And so yeah, I just wanted to shout that out on my lifestyle favorites. And if you're here from my booktube, I do plan on creating more content over there. I've just taken a little bit of a break, but I will definitely be back. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I always do, I'll link everything down below, including the you like device. If you guys want to pick that up with the discount code, check out any information. All of that will be in the description box below. And I hope you guys are doing well. I know fall is my personal favorite season. I'm a Scorpio and so I've got my birthday coming up. I just got married so I feel just like very happy in my life right now. I'm very content and I'm getting back into making content for you guys again and getting back into more of my happy space here. So yeah, I just want to say that and say I hope you guys are doing well as always and that you're happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.